So this is where we ended up in Benidorm, Camping Arena Blanca. And it's sort of uh, early in the morning. I got up early this morning. I thought, right, I'm gonna get out and check out the camping before it gets too busy. So it's still fairly early. It's probably about half past eight in the morning now. So uh, I thought I'd show you around the camping. This camping, we've scooped again. Uh, I know last time we were on Villamar and uh, we've been, I've, I've actually been down to Racco and uh, seen some friends yesterday afternoon, just had a little look. And um, this campsite is, like I say, we've scooped. This is the perfect campsite. She literally, uh, Asked me when I when I arrived here. You saw me the arrival and thing. If you if you watched previous videos, and uh, she said, "Go and take a look at the pitch." I walked around the corner, and literally, I'm like, "Yes, mate, I'm having it." Before it even got to the pitch, I could see the kind of camping this is, and it has delivered that kind of like experience for us. The people are so massively friendly; it is incredible. The only thing is now it's super busy. It is absolutely. And um, there's people now on this site booking for next year to come here. Yeah, so I've just been talking to the uh, lady from the reception. She didn't kind of uh, realize who I was. So uh, I've just explained to her that uh, that's what we're doing. She said, are you on the camping? I'm like, yeah. And then she suddenly realized who we were. So it's all cool. So there's me walking around with a camera pointing it around, you know, just like I say, just got to be respectful. And, uh, but um, that's why I try and get up early in the morning and uh, do this job. But um, anyway, um, yeah, so uh, they have a little, uh, I don't know what the score is here. They've got like almost like a, um, you, can, you can park up on the hard stand. It's almost like a little um, air on the front. I don't know what the, the um, score is there. Um, over in the background there, you can see um, the swim, there's like a swim pool over there. And uh, I, did, I don't know whether it's open yet. Let's wander on in around a minute. So we'll have a little look around. And, uh, but look at our views up over the mountains this morning. The sun's coming up. And, uh, look, look, on, and look at this van here. Look at this person. Look at the, Christmas decorations and uh, we even got uh, Santa Rod and a polar bear over there. Absolutely fantastic. It's, um, I'm gonna come, let's come over towards the, uh, um, the swimming pool. So, uh, just having a bit of a random. I think the gates are gonna be locked. So they have a supermarket in round here. There's a supermarket and there is a bar. Yeah, so um, I'm just, I've just come into the um, terrace. Uh, they're not actually open yet, it's nine o'clock. But, um, so also the, um, let me just uh, show, while the, while the doors are open, there is, oh, <laughs> there he's gone back in now. So, but take it from me, there's a beautiful dining area inside. Look at that, look. And uh, this beautiful terrace outside here. And uh, we well, yeah, I actually was speaking to some people that were out on the terrace having some drinks yesterday afternoon. And, um, they were saying it's the most friendliest uh, staff on the planet. And there's the uh, indoor pool all the way down through there. You can probably appreciate the size of it. But um, it was looking very tempting yesterday, I must say. But uh, yeah, so um, there we go. Oh, let's go through. And there's a bit of a uh, bit of a sun deck out here, look. Nice sun deck. A little bit of a kiddies park area. I sort of explained to the guys, sort of, um, like to get up early when there's no people about, and then uh, it makes life easier for the uh, to make a bit of video. But, uh, but look at the view from up here. Look at the view up over the mountains. 
Oh, it looks incredibly nice. It is the 31st of December, so it's the last day of 2023. Just uh, coming along the side of the pool. Stunning pool in there, I can assure you. <laughs> like I say, it, we were uh, getting tempted to get in, but we were uh, a little bit uh, bu busy night in ben Benidorm the night before. Right, I'll uh, mooch on back out. But uh, it's a terrace. Right, there we go then. So I'm gonna mooch back and have a coffee, I think. I think that's just given you a uh, brief view of the camping. Um, cost, we paid roughly around, I think it was just over 26 euros a night. So value for money, absolute value for money. The shower block, the amenities, um, toilets, super clean. You know what we're like and yeah, we cannot uh, grumble one little bit. It's um, washing up facility, everything you need. It's all here. It's all here. And uh, what stunning camping this is. Look at it down through. I love the um, kind of like terrace. Look at this. I'm just going to swing the camera around and look at them views behind. <laughs> Whoa. It's just hard to believe. It is New Year's Eve. And uh, we're down in this incredible landscape. Hopefully the sun is going to rise later on and be a stunning day. It's coming up over the mountains, look. So it doesn't get much better than this. Well, hey, where, where are you guys from then? Well, I'm from Southern Ireland. Okay. okay. Kevson from uh, West Midlands. West Midlands. Okay. We live in Ah, brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah, and, you, and you, what are you called? Martina. Martina. Martina has just shown me her Freedom camper van. They've built it themselves, that. So this is on a Citroen little van. Biling, Bilingo? Bil Dispatch. Next a, one up. A, a, right, okay, next one up. Yeah. And... Uh, two litre petrol. Two litre petrol, yeah. It's on LPG. Oh, okay. Uh, ex council, London council van. Oh, fair play. Solar panels, everything's electric. Yeah. Microwave, electric water heater. Yeah. Uh, toaster, kettle. Wow. Uh, diesel space heater. Yeah, yeah. Um, swivel seats. Uh, it's only the back bit that's full height. It's a fixed four foot six double bed on the top. Superb. Uh, it's a Luton, bo Luton box. We've so it's up there, out of the bloody way, isn't it? Yeah. You know, your bed and stuff. Just a little ladder. Um, yeah. Jobs are good. Absolutely fantastic, look at that. That is uh, the ultimate freedom machine. 1,300 miles from Exmouth in Devon. Get on, get on. Get on, I can see your, I can see your um, duvalet up the top there. Actually, I can see your duvalet mattress. Uh, they've got duvalet mattress up the top there. And, uh, it's virtually factory, the fit one you wouldn't even know, would you? That's brilliant. <laughs> Br what a great job. Yeah. You are geared up, mate. There's a thin line. Got your boy carrier up on the back, look. Yeah, yeah. I can see it, he's got, uh, got Bit of a, uh, got a hook up on the back there, look, and uh, yeah. So we've got a motorbike rack as well, solar scooter panels. rack. Oh yeah, scooter solar rack on the back, got down there. 300cc twist and go. Don't forget your solar panels. Oh yeah, so cuddly toy as well. <laughs> Bloody brilliant, toast rack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate freedom, wait, wait, wave. wave. <laughs> there she is, like, she, she, was, she, was, she was proper giggly earlier on, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, she was sort of like, she's, li she's living the dream in Benidorm. Everybody's like, the brew on a corner. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're actually living the dream um, in Benidorm, as everybody is, walking around with huge smiles on their faces, and uh, it's a happy place to be, isn't it? What a yeah. better place to be. Happy New Year, guys. Cheers. Thanks for. Happy New Year. Top of the morning to you. Yeah, cheers. There you go, that's what you got in Benidorm. It's magic. Absolute magic. Right, on back to my van. Uh, time to get a coffee and uh, check out the views around here again. Wow, it's so good. <laughs> 